And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We're ready for MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Atlanta Braves. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. So the Atlanta Braves are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with a win today. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set, and on the hill here today, Spencer Strider. Well, he went the distance last time, came away with the W, and we'll see if he can continue that trend in this one. Okay, all set to go. And now the DH, Josh Rojas. That misses, and away we go this afternoon. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one clips the corner. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Yairo Munoz. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Strider, a former MVP, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. On the ground, out to short. Zips it to first. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Jake McCarthy in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. One and one. Ripped on a line. And that will end the inning. of the first. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. The wind of the pitch. That one ran inside. Almost got him. Two balls, no strikes to count. Line drive, base hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now it's Juan Soto. And he dodges that fastball. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one missed. One strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Strike two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. Juan Soto goes deep, his 28th home run of the season, and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Three for seven in the series so far. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Here's Austin Riley. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Acuna runs. Pitch in for a strike. 
Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. So now the injury forcing a substitution at second base. Entering is the pinch runner, Luis Gonzalez. And he deals. Ball one, one there. One. There's a swing and a miss. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Got it by him for the K. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Two for seven in the series so far. Going one. Still only one out here in the inning. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Here's the 0-2. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Three for eight in the series coming in. And it's fouled away. Gonzalez on its second with two down. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. We head to the second in MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Now into the game, Luis Gonzalez. He takes over and right. Christian Walker in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. The next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. 2-1 and one now. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here's the third baseman, Christopher Morell. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-1. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. This is Corbin Carroll. That's in there. Strike one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout. And down on strikes. And a nice inning. Of and welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Swing and a miss, and it's 2-2. Two and two. And that one is inside. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one away. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. No and it's 0 2. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Bounce to the left side. 
Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Orlando Arcia at the plate and takes high there. Foul ball. The 1-1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Up the middle, Rogers gets it to first, and that is the inning. Welcome back. Now it's Brendan Rogers. There's a strike. Rogers, a former Gold Glove winner, hitting seventh in today's lineup, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Next offering is in for a strike. Ripped to short. And one away in the top of the third. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that's in there for strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. Now at the plate Gavin Cross. Ground ball right side and it finds its way through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Wastes no time there. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. Without a swing. Fastball at the letters frozen for. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. And that is in for a strike. It's 0 1. Albies starting up the middle at second, 27 years old, and he won this. That one is absolutely belted. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And that's a double. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. No, no, no. Ripped into right field, base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners, nobody out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. 112 miles per hour, the ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing, so that's what those. Left field. Carroll makes the catch. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly. It's three zip. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Stepping in the long ball threat, Austin Riley. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Riley goes six feet, three inches, 240 pounds, He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games. Not close with that one. And that is ball one. And there's a ball. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. One of the better pitches he's thrown in this game, but he just hasn't been able to do it enough, unfortunately. You know, he could be getting a feel for that slider, though, so maybe that's something he can build off of. Pulls up, and it drops for a hit. Lead runner holds it third, so two runners in scoring position, and just one out. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Swings and misses. That's strike one.
Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. He circles the bases. His 27th home run of the season. It's 6-0. Two pitches. Two swings. That one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way. And it paid off for him in a big way. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll. So they turn things over to the righty, Jose Ruiz. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And first offering is fouled off. And ball oh, sorry, one. That's a ball. Swing and a tapper. And there's two oh. down. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Ball, ball one, no ball. strikes. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kyle Nelson up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. That one missing inside. Michael Harris waiting for a turn at the plate. On the ground to the left. Slings it across. That ends the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. The lead has exploded to a half dozen. Three innings in the book on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Back here in Atlanta, and the batter will be the shortstop, Jairo Munoz. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. His fourth home run of the season, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 6-1. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. And now here is Jake McCarthy. Well, these Diamondbacks, to put it bluntly, need to put together. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He powers one out to right field. It's his eighth home run of the year, and they close the gap. It's 6 2. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And now it's Christian Walker. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Soto going after it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. 
not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. And a base hit right there. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. The next offering misses, and it's 2-0. And that's in for a strike. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Rodgers batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. Garcia over to Albies on the first double play and that's the inning but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice now a 6-2 ball game you're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show bottom four and the batter now Michael Harris Ruiz back to work Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Here's Orlando Arcia. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Pickoff throw. And he's back in there. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. Cross. Hauls it in. Two away. Swing and a ball popped up. That is the inning. The pitch. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. You know, these D-backs being a little too patient at the plate in this game. Sometimes it's a good thing, but today they're continuing to fall behind in the count, and that's adding a ton of pressure to their offense. Next pitch downstairs. Going to count one and two. Fouls it off, still one and two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next one just misses. The count now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Line drive. Albies on to first. And that'll do it. So one. Back at Truist Park, here's the left fielder, Juan Soto. The pitch. And that's down and away. You know, these Braves putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Cross brings it in. One up, one down. That's ripped. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Man at first, and next will be the cleanup hitter. Austin Riley, runner, runner on the go. The throw, tag, Stop. and he's out. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. 
McCarthy squeezes it, and the inning is over. Welcome back. And now the shortstop, Jairo Munoz. That's in there, and that's strike one. Munoz, in his fifth season, 29 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Fires over to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. And now Jake McCarthy. And that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two down. Walker at the plate now. That's ball one. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. Swings through that one. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the third. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Matt Olson up to the plate. Ruiz back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. McCarthy settles under it. And a quick out number one. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Ozuna goes six foot one, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. One down, base is empty. One and one. Center field. Cross moving under this one. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Now batter. The catcher. Travis. And now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Darno. Good eye right there. Clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. And that one finds its way through. Travis Darno coming around third. In there safely. <laughs> It's seven to two. Comes through with the RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Man in scoring position with two away. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. High fly ball out at a left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that new inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Swing and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And a foul ball. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Foul ball still a one and two count. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this. Over to Albies. And it's a double play to end the inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Braves seven and the Diamondbacks two.
Pitching change here, Kyle Nelson. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Your attention, please. Ground ball, left side. Number Tosses across the first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Juan Soto now. He's already homered in this game. Swings through that one. 0-1. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Erasmo Ramirez up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two down. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Next oh. offering misses. One and one. The one one is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Braves go down quickly. We're at the top of the eighth. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Hey. That catches the outside corner. Oh, one one. Strider. Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent. Really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. Three. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of the hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. The 0 1. Grips one to right. And that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second, and he's got a double. All over that one right there. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. I got a ball, one Runner at second here, one gone. Good eye right there. Fouls one off. Two and two. Struck him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jairo Munoz. Misses outside. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball. Now this ball is down and could score a run. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Jake McC Stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And he grounds one to the right side. Throw on to Olsen. That ends the frame. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Erasmo Ramirez. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Walker makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Olsen now at the plate as he swings through strike one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. That one misses, and it's a ball to strike. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Austin Adams up and loosening in the pen. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. 
solid swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension and he met it out front for the line drive knock stepping in Marcelo Zuna first offering misses the mark swing and a miss ugly swing right there And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Tarnot, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. That one ripped. Cross going back on this one. Looking up. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tagging from third. And now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. And that one is lifted in the air. Tracks it down for the out. And that's the inning. Back here in Atlanta. Now here is Christian Walker. That's in there. And that is strike one. And a swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere. Then you got a chance. Got him swinging. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Struck him out looking. So it's their last chance in this one. Corbin Carroll will hit next. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves win the rubber match of this three-game series. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game. A jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. 8-3 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.